Guys, 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 welcome to a new Tokyo video. My name is Oliver, and in today's video, we're gonna go to a special temple, the Meiji Shrine. I am probably pronouncing it completely wrong, but I'm walking there right now. I just got off the metro right there, and I'm walking this street out to the north entrance of this huge park where that temple will be. And we're gonna just enter the park, walk around and see what is good, look at the temple and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think about it and if it will be my recommendation, if you should write it on your list for your Tokyo trip. It is the perfect day, look at that, the sun is shining on my face. It is actually pretty hot, I got my jacket with me and an extra layer of jackets and stuff like that. I did not put on my sweater, my hoodie, because I knew it was going to be hot today. But this hot I did not expect because from tomorrow onwards it's going to be 4 degrees again. So it's like, we gotta enjoy this day today because this is a little bit of summer in Tokyo. So I'm almost there, it's like 5 minute walk and then we'll arrive, so let's go! Oh, we got to run, we got to run. It's so green. Thank you. It is right there, guys, the entrance. It's right there. I already see buses full of people, full of tourists going here. So I think it is a very popular destination and popular activity to do here in Tokyo. Let's see, probably have to buy tickets, right? It's not, it's not free, is it? I'm not sure. Let's see if they let me pass and just walk into the park. Probably you just have to pay for parking, but we can just enter. I'll just walk. I'll just keep walking. <laughs> oh, here's the gate. The main gate. Okay, this is the map. Here's the temple. We are right here. The gate. So we walk this path up, and then we go to the right, and then we are there. So many toilets. One, two, three, four. Here we have five, six. Toilets everywhere. I love that about this country. Amazing. Oh, they even have a gymnasium, like a gym. <laughs> or it's maybe it doesn't mean gym, but I don't know. All right, let's go. All right, we're getting close. Here we are, the entrance. Here's where all the people are, of course. Everyone is here gathering from the, around the temple. Oh, well, let's see, I see people there in line. So maybe we do have to buy a ticket. I'm not sure. I don't think so. This is so nice, all these temples. I love it. And everyone is going Kung Fu fighting. <laughs> let's enter. The construction of this temple began in 1915 under Ito Chuta. And the temple is visited by over 3 million people around New Year's. Oh, and after exploring this temple, we have an amazing activity on the planning. It has something to do with the 32nd floor and views all over Tokyo, so stick around. I'm here. The temple. It is very crowded, but it's beautiful. I love the brown color. It's so Japanish. I love it. And it's really Japanish because I'm in Japan. Even the trees are perfect. Like the shape is perfect, like a perfect tree. I didn't know perfect trees existed, but if you are talking about a perfect tree, you would probably be talking about this. And I see people writing papers there, so maybe you can write a wish on that paper and just hang it there. I think I'm gonna do that later. And obviously we gotta take a look there inside the temple. I don't think you can enter because everyone is like waiting in front of it, but definitely, you know, go there and have a look around. And right when I stopped recording, this happened. Amazing, we stumbled across a wedding. It is amazing. Wow, not so many people, but I think that was uh, part of the wedding, right? I think these people just got married. <laughs> All of a sudden, they just walked here in the middle. Everyone was keeping quiet. No one was saying a word. I undressed, I took everything out. 
because it's like it's too hot oh my god i feel like i'm in a tropical island <laughs> all right let's walk to the temple itself and see what's good there i think it's gonna be beautiful i already see a lot of gold and i'm definitely gonna do those sticky cards or what is it maybe it's wood I don't know, write something nice on there for the world, obviously, or for my mom. Well, my mom is actually coming tomorrow, so that's going to be so much fun. She's going to travel with me for 10 days here in Japan. So I'm not going to be alone all the time. A little bit less lonely. Oh, no photo. Oh, no photo. Oh, oh, cannot, cannot make any photo here. Oh, yeah, not allowed. Oh, I see it. Taking pictures from here. right when I wanted to do a prayer myself, another wedding passed by. So I paid my respects, of course, like everyone else there. So what you do is you throw in a coin and then you bow twice and you clap in your hands twice, and then you bow again. And that's how you pay respect. And that's how they make money too. <laughs> it's like a win-win, you know? Well, it's beautiful. And we got to see two weddings. I think the other one just ended and then the new one got in. I think they're just doing weddings the whole day. <laughs> I can write down my wishes. I don't really have prayers, but yeah. I can write down wishes for people and then put it in there with some money. And then they'll put it on the Srinas altar. Or how do you how do you pronounce that? I don't know. I'm gonna do that. All right, that was it, that was the temple. Now I'm walking more into the park and it looks like I chose the way of the main entrance because everyone is literally walking towards the temple. Here you have a little uh, shop where you can buy some things and I'm just gonna walk around the park a little bit, see if there's something else, but I think this is the main attraction, right? So there's not much else to see, so it is beautiful. We've seen two weddings, wow. I still can't believe it. Nice, a drinking water station there. They have everything here. And actually, in three days, it's the birthday of the king. King? Is it the king? I don't know. Well, that was it, guys. Isn't it beautiful? Amazing. I love it. Yeah, this is a great place to visit, if you ask me. I'm walking back to the entrance. But I decided to make this video a little bit longer because now I am getting a bit hungry and I think the video is not long enough. So we're gonna do something else, which is very close actually. We're gonna go to the government building where we're gonna go up for free and see all the views over the city. And hopefully, I think it is a very clear day. So I think, but fingers crossed, that we can see the top of Mount Fiji in the distance. So that's why we're gonna go today. And I was gonna make a separate video about this, but I think I'm just gonna fuse it into this video. Oh, let me go to the toilet first because it is like, half an hour a little bit more to the government building but first i want to have some ramen so i'm gonna eat and then we're gonna go up there oh my god guys it's gonna be amazing i think i'm gonna go for this teriyaki burger nice this is it guys wow looks really good but i have no idea where to eat the burger because there's no benches anywhere and you're not allowed to eat while you're walking so i have no idea where i'm gonna eat this i'm hungry i want to taste this burger already i wrote it i want to have it in my mouth already please all right guys mm. 
I found a spot. Mmm, this is delicious. Wow, the teriyaki burger is really good. Wow. Mmm, yeah. I'm gonna eat this, and then we will be on our way to the government building. Let's go. You don't even have to go outside of the metro station on the street to go to the government building. On this station, you can literally go into the government building directly from the station. We are here, guys. So let's see where the elevator is to take us up to the, I think it's 21st floor, I'm not sure. 21st floor to have panoramic views all over the city. Oh, Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building number one. That's where we are, yes. Okay, this is the main entrance here. So let's see, here's a tourist center also. Let's see. Well, we have to go. Oh, I see this. I have no idea what this is. It's obviously all in Japanese. Tourist center. Okay, the North Observation Desk is closed. Let's see if we, if there's another observation desk we can go to that is open. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think that one. I see a woman standing next to it. I'll ask her because I think it's also closed. Hello. Is it open? Uh, today is all closed. Oh, today is closed. Oh, okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow open. Okay. Today is closed, but today is the only nice day with clear skies. That is terrible because tomorrow is gonna rain, so we're not gonna see it. This is terrible. All right, change the plans. I asked the girls there from the Tourist Information Center and they said that unfortunately it is closed, but she told me there is a cafe in this building on the 32nd floor. So she said, if you register yourself here, you get a QR code, you go in there and then you go to the cafe to drink a coffee and there you have the panoramic views. But first I have to register myself here that I'm entering the building. So let's do that first and then we go through security up to this 32nd floor. Then we'll go in there to security. Thank you. I got a badge, visitor badge, and my QR code. Nice, here we go. Oh, second floor. We're stopping everywhere, probably. <laughs> this looks more like a hospital than a government building. <laughs> On my way to the cafeteria. Oh, there's a cafeteria. I found a toilet. It's too foggy. No one Fiji. Too bad. seeing one Fuji here I think it is spectacular it looks like there's a bit of smog though like air pollution because it's kind of a clear day but it's very foggy and I think I've been saying the mountain's name wrong the whole time because I think I've been saying Fiji but it's not Fiji it's Fuji obviously because Fiji is the country stupid Fuji Fuji so if you come here and it's closed go to the cafeteria 32nd floor Today has been a really good day. We have visited the beautiful temple and we had the best views over Tokyo on the 32nd floor. So thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. But before you go, I've made another video about Tokyo in which my mom will arrive to travel with me for the upcoming 10 days. And together we will go to a workshop where they teach us how to make three typical Japanese dishes. It's gonna be a delicious video, so I'll put it here in screen for you to watch next. So click on it and I'll see you there. Bye!